They did it. The Spurs are the five-time NBA champions, and um, this is just like, I'm, I'm still at a loss for words. Uh, help me out here, San Antonio fans. We're champions. NBA champions once again. Uh, welcome to the Spurs Roundtable, powered by Project Spurs. I am your host, Jeff Garcia, and alongside of me is Madeline Mendoza, Chelsea Torres, and Steven Anderson. Five-time champions. Of course, you know, come the victors, come the questions. What to do now as the offseason begins? Uh, I guess mainly, guys, we're going to start off with Patty Mills and Boris Diaw. Those are pretty much been on the lips of Spurs fans. They are unrestricted free agents. They're available to go to any team they want. Uh, but the question is, why would they stay? Why would San Antonio want them? Would they leave? Let's start off with uh, Patty Mills. Steven, Patty Mills was extraordinary in this postseason run, mm -hmm. nailing threes, doing all he needs to do is a good quality backup point guard. Why should he stay? Well, I mean, you mentioned it right off the top. He is the first true point guard the Spurs have had in quite some time. I mean, he lost a lot of weight. He, and the results were 17 points and a very, very, very good <laughs> game five. Uh, why should he stay is because if you think about it, the only real teams that can jump out and offer more money than the Spurs can are below 500 teams. Right. And if he want, if it's about winning but, a championship, but still, he'll stay. What about the allure of starting, though? I mean, you look at New York. New York has been pretty much the biggest mm -hmm. suitor so far, reportedly, uh, that wants him to come. Uh, Chelsea, you know, the allure of starting, big city like New York, market size, pay raise. And that's tempting for yeah. NBA player, isn't it? I think money being a huge factor, that could definitely cause him to leave San Antonio. Um, however, I would hope that he, you know, that he would stay. I think everybody does. Um, but again, like what Stephen was saying, he's probably the true point guard that we have right now. And you know, but if but if he gets that huge pay raise, I mean, right now in his career, he is at that point where he could take that big money and go with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's at the prime right I mean, now. Who wouldn't take the exactly. prime? Right? Imagine being able to get a pay raise. Right. Go to New York City, for example, you know, where Carmelo Anthony even wants you to join him, supposedly. But why would San Antonio want him to stay, Madeline? I think Patty Mills, along with Dio, have become part of their system. Mm -hmm. Seeing them in the finals, just as Kawhi improved since last year, I think they've improved also. Mm -hmm. And given the chance, they'll improve even more next year. Right. Dio stretched off the court. He's a big man. So I think that's why San Antonio needs them or right. wants them. There's something to be said about team chemistry, isn't there, Steve? There is. And I mean, the, if you, the team chemistry is undeniable. We saw it this year all season long, and even in the uh, post game rally, Patty Mills said to himself, We're more than teammates, we're friends. And why would you want to leave your friends? But one other thing I want to add to what these two have said, which is New York, you mentioned, Jeff. And well, we're just saying New York because well, yeah. that's, that's the one that's the, 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 the team, the rumor, the rumor that's yeah. where well, you have a head coach, a rookie head coach in Derek Fisher. You have probably the best coach of the decade in Greg Popovich in the Spurs. Why would Patty Mills want to go leave a coach like Pop? to go to a rookie head coach when you don't even know what your role would be. If, even if it is a starting job, how effective would he be in that environment? It's a completely new environment for him. Well, you know, Madeline, you, you also got to factor this. The Spurs do have a viable point guard still on that bench, Corey Joseph. Right. He's just been waiting, his, biding his time, playing in Austin, doing what he has to do. He's being a pro about it. He hasn't been really complaining about minutes. Right. If Patty Mills leaves, Corey Joseph is there. To step up. Yeah. And then seeing his... Um, his just strength against Ibaka was pretty, I think it surprised everybody. I think right. he has more of that in him given the chance. So, mm -hmm. could be good. Right. Uh, you know, there is um, Boris Dio. He is a free agent as well. Uh, do the Spurs keep him? What was the same thing with him? Is this a situation where he's going to go or stay? I think for sure he's going to stay. Mm -hmm. And I only say that because of, again, what Stephen was saying, how, you know, they've all become best friends, you know, and it's a family. That's how the Spurs are. They're a family. And right now, he's a little bit older. Um, he's already been in the NBA for a while. I think, I don't know exactly how long. I want to say about eight years, mm -hmm, maybe yeah. a little bit longer. And um, so, I mean, he's already had, he's already gone through some teams that they didn't want him. And now, this is the time where he's been able to show off what he can do. Even though the stats may not show it, he comes out and he does it on the court, as we saw in the finals with this past scene. It's just, it's everything that they, and that he can do, and he brings so much to the Spurs. He definitely got himself a pay raise in this postseason, didn't he, Stephen? He did, and I mean, just not, not to echo what she just said, because she's correct, but one thing about Dia is he possesses a lot of skills that right. big men don't, which he's kind of like a point guard big man, because he can hit threes, he can go inside, well, he they, can go They call outside. him like a Swiss Army knife, don't exactly. they? Yeah. Call, he's been called deceptively athletic, because he's so big, but then he can yeah. run and do all kinds and of I, things, so. I think that is very important for the Spurs to keep him, because... 
he was a major part of the Spurs championship running game in the, in the finals. He started mm -hmm. the, the majority of those games, and look at the results. I mean, he, they can spread the floor where, as we saw with Matt Bonner a couple years ago, he, he did. And Chelsea, what about that whole factor about Tony Parker? Tony Parker's countryman is there. Mm -hmm. he, 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 that has to be a big allure for him to stay as well. Again, you know, going off with the best friends, the family. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why Boris, if anybody, will stay for sure. I, I honestly don't think he even has it down in his mind that he's going to be leaving. Um, Patty, it's kind of hard to tell just because we, we're not really sure. But with Boris, I have more of, an, uh, more of a guarantee that he'll stay. But, but like, kind of like what Steven said, this, this Spurs team, if they stay together, they have a good shot of repeating something they have not done ever in this franchise's history. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, if it's all about money, then Patty Mills, go, right. go right. get your go get go get your payday. Mm -hmm. Go to New York. Go become that player that starting you that starting position you wanted. You earned it. Mm -hmm. I would not hate him if he leaves. Exactly. I get it. Right. Okay. Don't blame but, him. But I don't blame him at mm -hmm. all. But if he's all about titles, which a lot of these pro players are about, mm -hmm. suppo I mean, supposedly, <laughs> I don't know, hopefully, but. Um, you know, then it's here in San Antonio. You're the defending NBA champions. Mm -hmm. This is where you're most likely going to get that shot. If they always say it's always about the shot at winning a title, mm -hmm. how about coming to a ready-made team that is right there, even though I think Vegas has odds already that Miami is the, the favorites to win next year's title? Exactly, yeah, because they have LeBron yeah. James. I mean, yeah. anything that has but, LeBron James, you automatically That's probably for, for a different uh, round table. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> you know, but of the two, Mills, Diaw. Which one is more important if they had to pick one? If it came down to strictly a financial decision, who would the Spurs take, Chelsea? I would pick Dial. And I say that because, exactly, he can spread the floor. He, can, he posts up awesome. And he, he can shoot those threes. I mean, he has everything. He is that Swiss Army knife for the Spurs. Um, so I would take my chances on Dial. Yeah, Madeline? Dial as well. Just like she said, he posts up and passes out, so... Mm -hmm. Pink Dio. Yeah, Steve was probably going to say Matt Bonner, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Matt Bonner. Keep, no. Yeah, I, I would go with, with agree, Dio, because I mean, the guy, as, just not to echo what these two have said, but they've already said it. We, we, yeah. we know what he can do. He's very important for this team. And not to mention his fellow countryman, Tony Parker, is right. here. But I mean, it's very, very important the Spurs keep him if they want to repeat. And just to add what you said about repeating, if this team is healthy next year, they have a fantastic chance of doing it again. The reason why I say if is Manu Ginobili. He's going to be going overseas this summer to play. Yeah. The FIFA World Championship. Well, well, we all we'll, we'll, what we'll touch on that in a few we minutes. All what happened uh, that time. You know, but we're still talking about the future of this team heading into next season. And then there's Kawhi Leonard, mm -hmm. uh, yes. the MVP of the finals. There are reports out there um, that he will get a hefty, mm -hmm. hefty pay raise. Well deserved, obviously, right, right. Stephen? Right. Oh, yeah, definitely well deserved. We saw what he did in the finals. He really showed what he's going to bring. Right. And I mean, I say that because not that he didn't do it before, but the finals, a big stage. Remember last year, he missed those two critical free throws that could have won the Spurs the title. This year, he stepped up, got aggressive. He earned that MVP in the finals, and he deserves a pay raise 100%. Mm -hmm. Madeline, is uh, Kawhi pretty much the cornerstone of this future of the franchise? I believe so. I believe he's the future. I mean, he just came back, like Steven said, with all this drive since last year, from going from everybody kind of, well, Kawhi missed the two free throws mm -hmm. to being the MVP. That's a huge difference. Right. So I think he is the cornerstone. Chelsea. I have to agree. And not only did he do so great in the finals, but we have to remember the regular season. I mean, mm -hmm. he was out uh, for a while, and he came back, and we didn't, and, you know, the Spurs did not lose a game uh, for, the, what was it, 20 games? Yeah. And, I mean, that's just ridiculous. And everybody was saying it was because of Kawhi, because he came out and he showed what he right. can do. He obviously can work hard. Pop has said that he's like a sponge, you know, on practice. He stays late. He comes early. Mm -hmm. He works hard. He is the future of the Spurs, and right. Pop knows it, and I'm pretty sure yeah, the whole organization I, Yeah, I think the sentiment, though, from the exit interviews from the final media day is this team has a 95% chance, somebody said, I think it was Manu did, um, you know, of coming back intact, mm -hmm. Stephen. Yeah, and they do, and I really, there's no doubt about it, Duncan's going to return. I fully believe he oh, will yeah. return. He's going to come back. Pop, of course, is coming back. So, I mean, you have those two, you have a very good chance already. <laughs> but the, this team is probably one of the best basketball teams I've seen in quite right. some time, and they have a very good chance of seeing it. Yeah, and going back to Patty Mills, he recently had like a like an autograph session yeah. here mm -hmm. in San Antonio, yep. and I think fans were chanting, stay, yes. Patty, stay. Mm -hmm. yes. So the, he knows that the fans want him. He's wanted here. Right. And, and he doesn't have to look too far in Spurs history. Why don't you t 
Patty, why don't you look at Gary Neal? What happened to him? <laughs> what happened to Gary don't Neal? Do it, yeah, remember when Gary Neal left looking for that pay? Well, goes to Milwaukee, a rebuilding team, and then he's just miserable. Yeah. So it doesn't Poor take Gary too far uh, for uh, yeah. yeah. She's you okay? You're gonna cry for Pat, uh, Gary Neal? Poor Gary Neal. Yeah, but uh, you know those are our thoughts right there on the uh, Spurs uh, future, at least in the roster next year. They're hopefully they come back intact. Uh, but again, don't forget to go out to ProjectSpurs.com. Use for S8. Dot com and of course Fox 29 San Antonio as well. Uh, you know we're not quite done with this roundtable yet, but as uh, Stephen mentioned, Manu Ginobili did announce that he will be playing for Team Argentina this summer. Mm -hmm. A lot of San Antonio Spurs fans are very upset at this decision. Yeah, take a deep breath. Yeah, they, they need to take a deep breath. They do not like this. He's older. He's going to run the risk of injury. Mm -hmm. He just came off a grueling, grueling long NBA season postseason as well. He made his decision. He's going to Argentina. He's going to Spain. I'm sorry. He's going to be playing in Spain at the FIBA World Tournament. Chelsea, right away, what were your first thoughts? It's a little scary. Uh, of course, you know, I agree with all the Spurs fans. It's hard. You know, we don't want to risk that injury. He is older. He played awesome in the finals, but you have to think about the future now. You know, the Spurs are thinking about next year. And I think the Spurs can come back and win another one as long as the big three play at the level of play that they've been playing. And with Manu being, you know, in the summer league, that's going to be hard because he's going to be a little bit more tired. Right. And, and badly, it's, it, he has to go to training camp soon. Right. And this tournament is out in Spain. There's the travel factor, there's the jet and lag. then jet lag, and then there's finishing the tournament. Right. And then you got training camp already coming up. And their media stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, and their so. media stuff too. So, Madeline, I mean, do you agree with this decision? I mean, if I could tell him yes or no, I'll tell him no, but he's going to do whatever he wants. Right. Uh, I wish he wouldn't, but I yeah. don't agree. You know, a lot of Spurs fans are throwing this word around loyalty. Yeah. Where is your loyalty to the Spurs? You, you, where is this? And you're showing loyalty to Team Argentina. You need to take the time to rest. Mm -hmm. But it, it's always, Manu's always been very vocal about mm -hmm. this. He appreciates his gold medal, his accomplishments more with Argentina. And maybe he does with the NBA and the San Antonio Spurs. He does, and I mean, you're, you're, you're right. And I think if you just, when you said that, all of San Antonio scream, no, <laughs> they don't want Manu to go play, but right. he's going to. And I mean, it's not just Manu. You've got Patty Mills going overseas, Aaron Baines, Boris Dia. Um, Kawhi Leonard if he makes the U.S. The national team. So you have a bunch of players who are going to be playing overseas for the Spurs. You, uh, we saw what happened with Tony Parker when he played all well, summer. I think, that's, he I got think hurt, that, that, that he, is uh, the bigger news. I think that, yes, I mean, you're upset that Par uh, Manu's not going. But I think the bigger news is Tony Parker is not going to go. He's not, he's not playing in Team France. I think that has to do with, though, he's now a new father. He just had, you know, he was, I think he played in the Summer League last year. Yes, he, he had a really tough, it was a hard loss last year, as it was with the rest of the Spurs. He's had a long season. Um, and you could tell he really conserved, I think he conserved a lot of his energy for the finals. He's still a gas, though. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. Um, but I think that, you know, maybe he's taking the break. Madeline, I, I, you know, with Tony Parker finally taking a summer off, I think that might balance okay. out with Mono uh, heading overseas. Maybe it'll set the tone, maybe. Right. Um, yeah, it could balance out. Right. One goes, one stays, even though Mono's been going, but right. I'm glad Tony's staying. Yeah, yeah, I think Tony Parker getting that rest, getting recharged mm -hmm. over the summer is gonna pay off dividends for him mm -hmm. because we saw it last season, we saw it this past season, he runs out of gas in the most crucial times. And that, <laughs> in the, and then, and then you got your Patty Mills, you know, <laughs> your Patty Mills comes back and how, how amazing the job he did stepping in. Uh, you know, but before we put a wrap on this show, we talked about it a little bit. Let's bring it up one more time. Do, does this Spurs team repeat? Do they do something they have never done in franchise histories? Defend their title, Chelsea? Uh, I think they could. I think it's very possible, um, as long as everybody, again, stays at the level of play that they're mm -hmm. playing. Um, I think a few players will have to maybe step up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But even then, we've, we saw almost every bench player play in the finals. Mm -hmm. So with that, if, we can, if the Spurs can keep that up, the big three can keep up their level of play, it, it shouldn't be a no-brainer for are, 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 is there, are you still worried about Oklahoma, though? No. You're not? No. Wow. We're very bold. <laughs> <laughs> I just, see, seeing how we, you know, defended against them, I'm not, even when they tried bringing in Ibaka, it didn't work. We made our, Pop made his changes. He didn't do anything drastic. He just made the Spurs play better. Yeah. So, I'm not. You want to tell all th Thunder fans right now that we're not. <laughs> we're, we're not, not afraid of you. <laughs> all right. Steve? <laughs> she did that against Dallas, so be careful. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, just to say, just to touch on both of what they said, first with Maddie, you know, she's right. The Thunder, I'm not afraid of the Thunder either because they're not going to get any better than they are right now because I don't see what else they could add. The Clippers are not going to get any better either. And Houston, well, they're Houston. So, I mean, yeah. there's not that many threats out there for Maybe the Spurs. Maybe Dallas. I mean, I don't Dallas, think so. I don't yeah. think so, no. They, they need us work. 
Yeah, they made you know, this work. They but did. I have heard rumors but about Houston saying that they've been trying to trade all their players to get LeBron. To get LeBron. Not going to happen. I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen. Well, even either. if this is crazy. Let's just say they get LeBron. I mean, nothing it's, will happen. Though. Though. He'll, he'll be the exact same thing. Exactly. Because he's sharing the team. Exactly. That he is. But no, I, I, I agree. They have a great chance of doing it. But I, my concern, the X factor for me, is going to be Manu Ginobili. If he can come back from playing overseas this summer and be healthy, then we'll be fine. You know Popovich is going to rest him of course. tremendously in that, op that beginning of the season. Of course. Yeah. You know, maybe kind of pulling what Tim Duncan did. You know, one game on, one game off. Yeah. You know, telling the NBA at the last second, no, nah, we're just going to back to San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, I forget a couple of fines along the way. Yeah, I would not be surprised if that happens. But, uh, but but before we put a wrap on this show, how did it feel winning the title? As, as just oh, now we're gonna move ourselves as being media. Now we're gonna be fans <laughs> now for just a few seconds. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, Fantastic. yeah. After that loss last year, I mean, it's so heartbreaking to come back after that, and to have the season that the Spurs did, then to come back into the finals, beat you know Thunder, right. Dallas, you know having that seven game series against Dallas that we didn't expect going against the Thunder. It's just, it's awesome to finally beat the Heat, the team that the Spurs have been wanting to beat, right. and now they finally did it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. How did you feel? I, was, I had no words. I think Q said that yeah. on his Facebook. He's written, he's tweeted, but at the end he had no words. Mm -hmm. He was just yeah. so happy, and I shared the same sentiment. I hugged my mom. I yeah. screamed. I cried. Yeah. So. <laughs> Steven was upset because Miami uh, lost. I mean, you're rooting for oh, Miami yes. the whole time, right? <laughs> so sad. Yeah. No. But, I mean, it was fantastic to see the Spurs finally do yeah. what they should have done last year. And yeah. I mean, in a way, I think the way they lost Game 6 and Game 7 are heartbreaking. That was how it was supposed right. to be. They I needed that to kind of kickstart them and to do it against Miami yeah. is fantastic. <laughs> well, I was actually in the championship locker room afterwards, and that was just a – just I would never forget that experience. Mm -hmm. It was just – festive, everybody was just cheering one another. Corey Joseph poured, uh, poured a cha champagne down my back. <laughs> um, I saw Marco Bell, uh, Mello in tears, just yes. crying, really? crying yeah. that he won the title. It was just uh, something I will never forget, and it's a city will never forget. And Tony Parker said after the parade uh, was done, he said this was the sweetest. Mm -hmm. So I think that's how we're going to end up this show, on the sweetest note. Sweet San Antonio. <laughs> sweet yeah. San Antonio. So again, the... <laughs> You know, congratulations, San Antonio. You know, you are the uh, 2014 NBA champions. But don't forget to go out to ProjectSpurs.com. And, of course, News 4 San Antonio, as well as Fox 29 San Antonio. Leave all your thoughts on the championship season. And don't go anywhere because we have plenty of coverage in the offseason. So for, for, the, for these guys, for these knuckleheads <laughs> right here, I'm Jeff Garcia. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Spurs Roundtable. Did you read your emails? Yes. Okay, good, because you never read your emails. <laughs>